Welcome back to Gardening on the West Coast now, version of the edition of the California Gardener, but you know, we live in BC now, so I just want to give you an update video. I made a video last year about summer pruning those um, long whips that grow off your fruit trees, and this is one of the plum trees that I pruned back during the summer, and I've already given it a little quick uh, pring, spring pruning as well. Uh, but I wanted to show you that it doesn't do any damage to the tree, cutting off those long whips. Uh, I think it uh, made the tree actually healthier. This is the first year that I've really gotten blossoms on this tree. It's about four years old now, and unfortunately we had to move it three times because when we built, I first had it in the front yard. We moved it uh, when they were going to put in a new septic system to the garden, and then we finally transplanted it right here. So in four years, it's been moved three times, but it's still looking great, and now it's got berries on it. So look, I you can see where I cut off all those long uh, whips last uh, summer, where they're growing off all of these tips. I had all these long whips growing. I cut them all off and uh, I think it really helps the tree out because then it designates more energy to growing the main truncal system and you can see the tree has done really well put on a lot of blossoms this year I'll show you one of the other trees that I did it to I this one had a ton of growth on it I pruned off a lot I probably could have pruned off more but I wanted to leave a couple branches going taller uh, but it's got a bunch of blossoms on it as well this year. This one, it, it didn't ever have that many blossoms on it yet. Maybe it's still developing into a more mature tree. So we'll just keep pruning it and see one year to the next. This one also was moved four times. So that does not help its growth. But you see in four years, it's grown pretty well. It was a small little tree, but now it's, you know, got nice to an inch diameter. Same as the other one. So I did have a couple places where I had uh, black uh, fungus growing on this and I had to prune it off. So that's why I have a short branch right here and I cut one branch off here because that branch had it. So you do have to watch your root trees in BC for different kites, kinds of uh, funguses and blights and cut them off when needed. But uh, otherwise just regular maintained pruning seems to have worked for this tree. So that's a follow-up video to my summer pruning my plum trees. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on watching. We've got a beautiful spring happening here on the West Coast.